On the evening of Thursday, December 2nd, the community was invited to come to Children's Park in downtown Lake Orion for a candlelight vigil to offer comfort and support to our neighbors to the north. On November 30th, a 15-year-old gunman opened fire on his fellow students at Oxford High School, killing four and wounding eight others, including a teacher. Those who died at the scene were 14-year-old Hannah St. Juliana, 17-year-old senior Madison Baldwin, and 16-year-old Tate Meir, who was a member of the varsity football team. The following day, it was announced that a fourth student, 17-year-old Justin Schilling, died from his injuries. Justin worked at Anita's Kitchen in downtown Lake Orion. A group of concerned Lake Orion parents quickly organized a vigil in Children's Park. So I'm just an Orion parent, and um, I thought it was important that we be together in a time like this. And especially with the students grieving, parents grieving, the close-knit togetherness of our communities are grieving. And so one of the most important things in a situation where you're in a hardship is to be with others and so I wanted to bring the community together. We just felt it was really important to um, come together and um, have a, a safe landing place for people that were maybe grieving or um, just looking for some community support. You know, Orion, Oxford, we're, we're one. We're, we're a team and uh, we're, we're here to support us any way we can. This has been one of the hardest couple of days I think most of us have experienced. Uh, we've all seen this on TV across the nation as it's happened and around the world. Um, and I believe probably like me, none of us thought it would be here. And it's here now. And, um, and there's no way to prepare for that. Uh, there's no way to, um, other than to continue to be diligent and, uh, and, and to try and um, try and strengthen our schools and, and work on mental health and, and try and uh, you know, make things better so that these things don't happen. But, but that aside, one thing we see when the very worst happens in humanity, and we've seen it um, all too often, is one of the beautiful things that I think happens is we see what's the best about humanity. And um, since this horrible tragedy, uh, the outpouring of support from residents of Oxford, Orion, surrounding communities, and quite frankly, at this point across the world, is unbelievable. And it's incredible, and it's a beautiful thing. Among those in attendance were Lake Orion Police Chief Harold Rossman, who was one of the first to arrive at Oxford High School when the call alerted law enforcement to an active shooter. He witnessed the aftermath of the carnage firsthand. Listen, we have the fun rivalries. I was a, a dragon growing up here in Lake Orion, and we'd go after the Wildcats in, uh, in the sports and stuff like that. But that's all separate. This is, this is big. This is life and death. And this is where we as Oxford, Lake Orion, Orion Township, whatever, we all come together and we share their pain. We share their pain and their grief, and we also want to be the ones that be able to hug and try to give comfort to the families that have lost one of their loved ones, or even where they have a loved one right now in the hospital that's trying to hang on. And so that's what community is all about. In downtown Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.